Come on in, pull up a chair and take a load off because today I'll be unboxing and taking a first look at the deluxe edition of In Magnificent Style, Pickett's Charge from Worthington Publishing. And I'll be diving on in right after this. Howdy, 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 gang. Welcome once again to the Duct Tape Studios. I'm your host, Jeff McAleer, here at the Gaming Gang channel. As I mentioned in the open, I am going to be unboxing and taking a first look at the deluxe edition of In Magnificent Style, Pickett's Charge from Worthington Publishing. It is designed by my good friend Herman Lettman with artwork provided by Tim Allen and Rick Barber. This is a solitaire game. It's for ages 14 and up, plays in around an hour, and does carry an MSRP of $75. This is available now. You can order it from Worthington Publishing. So let's swing on over to the other camera because here I've got in magnificent style. That's right, up men and to your posts. Let no man forget today that you are from old Virginia. Yes, George Pickett's quote to uh, inspire the men of his division. So as you can see, this is the deluxe edition. I reviewed the first edition that ever came out of In Magnificent Style. It was released from Victory Point Games. It's a few years ago. And uh, that was back when the Victory Point Games were all in a Ziploc bag. And a lot of outlets actually would not even take the time to review any of the VPG games, even though the gameplay was great. Simply, it's kind of desktop publishing, right? They didn't have those, you know, you know, knock it out of the park components and graphics and so forth. Well, that's not the case with this. As you can see, this is in a true box. And let's take a look at the back here. Pettigrew's front rank advanced in as magnificent style as I ever saw. It's a quote from an unidentified soldier from the 26th North Carolina Regiment. In Magnificent Style is a solitaire game depicting the final desperate Confederate attack on July 3rd, 1863 at the Battle of Gettysburg. You command the Confederate brigades that made Pickett's Charge. The game system features some new takes on the traditional push-your-luck mechanic and applies them to a war game setting. As General Longstreet, you must decide how quickly to press your advancing troops across the deadly open ground before allowing the men to regroup themselves for another bound. But time is not on your side, and the longer your stalwart soldiers remain in this maelstrom of enemy fire, the more dangerous it becomes, and the less likely they will arrive with the verve and numbers required to carry the day. Good luck. So one thing I can see just by looking at the back of the box is that the top-down kind of 15-millimeter uh, miniature-style look to the counter is remains which i really did like about the previous edition so i already took the shrink wrap off because we were getting a ton of glare so we're gonna get rid of that so let's see what we've got here so we got the rule book and this is not a super dense game it's not going to take a long time for you to figure out how to play so let's take a look at the rules here so we've got our introduction, talking about the game components, the map, start spaces for the Confederate player. Talking about the angle. It's, it's pretty wild. I have toured Gettysburg, and one of the things that I thought was pretty insane, honestly, is you'll actually have the opportunity to go to the bloody angle, and you can see just how far the Confederate troops had to march in order to try to get to the Union lines. And it's just <sighs> unbelievable. I know if you've seen the movie Gettysburg, which I really like, I think it, it's, a, it's a really well-done movie, considering it was actually made for TV and then released in theaters. <sighs> it, Pickett's Charge is, is pretty epic in the film itself, but I still think that it kind of softens 
the the chaos of it. So just taking a look through, we've got 15 pages of rules. We'll get a little bit of a example of play at the back. And then some designer notes from Herman. Very good. Very cool. So there are the rules there. Let's see what else we've got. We've got, of course, some counter sheets. Looks like we've got a couple here. And we will actually get a, a little bit of a closer look at these as well. So we've got a cu couple of these counter sheets. I will zoom in before we finish the video so we can get a better look. But as you can see, there aren't tons and tons of unit counters in the game. So it's important for you to keep an eye out on that, as you can see. We've got some numbers. We've got some modifiers as well. We do have a couple of, looks like these are little player aids that get punched out. I wonder, I got to be honest, I'll have to take a look at the rules real quick. I wonder if there's actually a two-player variant for this. I don't think there is, to be honest, because... It has been a long time since I have played in Magnificent Style, but I, I don't remember really th there being that opportunity for two players. And to be honest, I mean, the Union player really wouldn't be doing much. All right, so here we've got the board. We've got the board here. And I will kind of tour around it. I don't want to have to mess around with the camera at this moment here. But as you can see, we've got these, these square areas. Now these are actually just movement areas that you're going to be moving up your regiments. So, and then here is the Union line. You can tell with the American flags and the Union troops. So you see that. We have a turn marker because you only have so much time available to you to make your move. We got a sequence of play, the division general table, movement dice results, and what are the results? What do they mean? Very cool. I like this mounted board. This is very nice. Because the Victory Point Games edition just had a paper map. A little paper board. So here we have the different flanks. So I should, I, I should say the brigades, actually. They're not regiments that are attacking. They're brigades. Blue Armistads. Breckenridge. Dick Garnett's. There's Kemper's Brigade. So these these were actually these were the men that that actually made it to the Union line. So because not not many of Pickett's division actually got there. Very nice, pretty cool. I like that. All right, let's fold this back up. So it looks like we also have we got a bunch of dice. We're gonna have some cards. Yep, there we go. There's our deck of cards have some events in that on them so we've got a score pad that's kind of interesting that's something new we didn't have that before got a bunch of dice so we've got some blue we've got some gray we've got a white and we've got red so we got some six siders right here so what we'll do is i will get this open grab ye old hobby knife here and i have to say this plastic seal on this isn't like we're like super tight so it's pretty easy for me to just slash on in there without worrying about you know nicking a card or anything let's see what we've got i think they're all going to be the same deck they are so i'm trying to remember if we had a deck of cards in the original in Magnificent Style. I don't, I don't recall. I don't think there was. All right, so let's zoom in a little bit.
we're going to get a better look at this score sheet. So here it's just showing the board itself. Player date, victory points, victory level, how many union positions were captured, how many formations survive. Player performance level. Is Pickett, Trimble, and Pettigrew still alive? And these are dual sided, and you get a good number of these. So we also have the cards. We've got some different events artillery barrage, volley fire. So the blue down here, this is what uh, the Union troops are doing. Is it going to tell you what area you uh, have to worry about your troops taking casualties and things like that? So the generals hit artillery barrages again. Union reinforcements sent to the right flank. So quite a few of these. For some strange reason, I. I want to say, like I said, it's been a long time since I played the first edition of In Magnificent Style, but I could have swore that some of these Union attacks was uh, through dice. Maybe I'm misremembering that. I'm probably misremembering that. All right, so that is the deck there. Let's get a little closer look at the, those counter sheets. Let me bring these back for you so we can get a, get a peek at these. So we've got the numbers up here because you're going to lose strength as you take casualties. So it kind of give you an idea of that kind of top-down 15-millimeter miniatures look. They're almost like miniature stands. here as well so you're also going to be tracking losses for for the union on the uh union line there you go and they are dual sided as well oh, cut pretty good because that popped right on out nice very cool all right so that is what we find when we're taking everything from In Magnificent Style, Pickett's Charge, the Deluxe Edition from Worthington Publishing, Outside the Box. I'm looking forward to checking this out because, as I mentioned, it has been a long time since I played the original In Magnificent Style when it was from Victory Point Games. And this looks like that there's been some tweaks to it. Might be a little meatier, of course, as well. So stay tuned. I will have a review of this relatively soon because it is a solitaire title. I'm not going to have to worry about anybody else getting to the table during this pandemic. All right. So once again, do want to point out that In Magnificent Style, Pickett's Charge is from Worthington Publishing. It is available now. It is a solitaire game, and it does carry an MSRP of $75. If you like this video, by all means, please give it a quick thumbs up. Subscribe to the Gaming Gang channel if you haven't already. If you do subscribe, ding that bell, because it will not only let you know when I upload videos such as this unboxing, it will also let you know when my live stream, the Gaming Gang Dispatch, airs right here on YouTube Monday through Thursday nights as I bring you the latest in tabletop gaming news. Of course, when you're not watching videos on the Gaming Gang channel, be sure to visit thegaminggang.com for all the latest in gaming news, reviews, and a whole lot more. You know the drill. Get your geek on at thegaminggang.com. All right, that's it for this time out. I will see you next time. And as always during this never-ending pandemic, I close my videos by hoping all of you out there are being smart and staying safe. Oh, hey, you're still here. Well, if that's the case, by all means, 
If you haven't subscribed to the Gaming Gang channel yet, click right here. If you'd like to see the latest episode of the Gaming Gang Dispatch, click right up there. And if you want to trust YouTube's algorithm to give you something to watch, click right there. Once again, thanks so much for watching, and everybody, please wear a mask.